Hello and all, welcome to a Galaxy Man Show here. Uh, so for today's guest on my show is this incredible and brilliant actor known by the name of Colin Blur. Uh, so I'm about to give him an ad on my show now. Uh, and yeah, um, give him, ask a few questions. So I'm going to give Colin an ad now. Hey Colin, what's up? Hey, how are you man? Yeah, pretty good, thanks. Yeah. Okay, um, so what I'll get you to do is explain a bit about who you are and uh, what you do, uh, and yeah, we'll go through that. Okay, uh, my name is Colin Bass. I'm a writer and actor over in California. Uh, I do anything from fan films to original superhero series and uh, gigs in between. And then my day job is uh, product development for Star Wars costumes and accessories and stuff. And yeah, I'm just a big nerd that loves to act and write and be creative. Awesome. Uh, so we'll dive right into the questions, Colin. So for my first question, uh, so you're creating a um, Shattered Past episode two that's coming out soon. What was the experience like creating episode two or Shattered Past? Uh, it was really fun. We we kind of found something really special during episode one with this like kind of ragtag production team and everyone was just so passionate and so happy to be a part of it. And when episode two came around, uh, it was just really great to see my friends again. And uh, we had some issues because there's a bunch of airplanes flying over, so the audio was a little off, and that's what's taking it us uh, so long to release it. But it was uh, it was great. I love those guys. It's uh, one of my favorite shows because we all vibe so well, and everyone, you know, buys their figures of their character, reps whatever shows we're doing. Everyone's just really passionate, and we we all love each other. So it's a great experience. Awesome. Uh, and so for my next question, you were Reverse Flash in Reverse Flash Origins. What was that experience like creating that series? Uh, it was a dream come true, man. I've kind of been running around with just me and Sean doing these little one-offs of different characters and stuff. But Reverse Flash Origins, we had a full uh, team behind us with NerdBot Media. And uh, it was everyone just believed in the project, believed in me. And uh, I got to see my you know visions of what I wanted to happen come to life. And we did premieres and big banners of me at cons. It was, it was amazing. It was so much fun. Awesome. Uh, and so for my next question, you've been in numerous projects and soon to be Rise of the Ninja with William Shufelt as Brody uh, and also uh, Solar Evolution that I've been seeing around also um, and soon to be Bloodline of the Grid. What uh, can people expect from those series if you can give any details? Sure. Uh, Bloodline is like kind of like Star Wars meets Power Rangers and it's a sequel to In Space. So there's lots of like paying homages to to in space and rangers and it's a lot like it kind of takes the space aspect of it and really like focuses on that and uh there's some really cool you know family stuff hence the name bloodline and uh i'll be in there as sam a future sam from the sam that i play in shattered past uh solaris is an original idea that i came up with and um william schufeld's agent asked him if he had uh, any original projects coming out will hit me up i had solaris i've been sitting on solaris for a few years now and it's basically gonna be like a post-apocalyptic kind of super kind of drama thriller uh sci-fi series and we have the teaser all filmed that's with the vfx guy now and i'm super hyped on that it's really really fun doing original stuff because there's no pressure on matching you know pre-existing content and then for Rise of the Ninja, it's basically going to be the most, like, accumulative Power Rangers thing that I've ever came up with. Because we're going to cover everything from, you know, Ninjetti and Mighty Morphin all the way to Ninja Steel and all the ninja aspects in between. So I, I hope there's something for everyone in that show. Awesome. Uh, and so for my next question, if you could have five Ranger team members from any uh, previous seasons, which five members would you want on your team and why? Okay. Connor McKnight. Dino Thunder Red, he's my favorite. Um, Dustin from Ninja Storm, he's my favorite from last season. Uh, Jack from SPD. I like when people have powers outside their suits, honestly. Yeah. So, uh, Jack from SPD. Um, Andros from In Space. And 
Uh, I always really liked Kira from Dino Thunder. I thought she was badass. So. Those would be my five, and I think those are just my favorite from my favorite season, so I've kind of just plucked and put them together, but I think that'd be a great team. Awesome. Uh, so for my next question, um, if you could be in any TV or movie franchise, what would it be and why? Does it have to be currently going on right now? Uh, no, it can be whatever you want. I always wanted to be in Smallville. That was like my that was like my favorite show growing up. But otherwise, Power Rangers would be great. I'm too old to be a teenager with attitude, but maybe a mentor or something. Like, I'd love to do that. Awesome. Uh, and so for my last question, Colin, uh, what are the positives and negatives into the acting industry and how do you get through those negatives? Um, the positives is uh, I think it's a big outlet for me. Like I get to be creative and, and you know, that I, I took a year off of filming and I felt empty. And when I'm when I'm filming now, I just like I feel refreshed, even though it's super tiring and, you know, usually takes all day. And it's just, it's just a part of me now. So I think the big positive is that it's a way for me to express myself, be creative and, you know, share my kind of art with the, with, you know, our followers and the, the viewers. Um, negatives is a lot of people don't get it. Uh, like in my life, I can't, I can maybe have a handful of people that are in my life that watch what I do and understand it. Otherwise, it's a lot of like, a uh, little judgmental, a little like condescending, and they don't really get why I do it. And um, it's hard to explain to them, but the people that get it, get it. And they know I love it. And they know it leads to amazing relationships and opportunities. But I guess, um, and I've, I've stopped caring what people really thought, but I think one of the negatives, at least for me, is I go to like, you know, family gatherings or, you know, high school reunions and stuff. And like, are you still doing that? Um, superhero thing and i'm like oh it's so much more than that but i i'm not gonna like waste my time explaining it <laughs> well can i just say colin thank you so much for coming on to my show it means so much um definitely keep up the amazing work and everyone definitely go follow colin uh he's he does such an incredible job at developing these incredible series and projects uh so can i just say again thank you so much colin it means so much and any final words that you would like to say or to anyone yeah, uh, thank you to my team and thank you to you for all the support. We really appreciate your reaction videos and, and interviewing us and everything. It just makes us feel really special. So, special. so thank you for everything you do too. the ground and slide him over. Puny blasters don't work on him. Surrender now. Aw, oh, come on. Why'd they have to use my rookie pick?